Welcome to Woods and Water Outdoors. I'm Patrick Corcoran. Uh, today we're going to tie for you a um, kind of like a mini preacher jig, uh, crappie jig style. Um, some years ago, and we're talking quite a few, um, I used to fish on a lake called Lake Proctor down in central Texas, uh, southwest of Stephenville. And uh, one of the big baits on that lake was a, for bass fishing was the blue chrome rattle trap. Uh, so I thought, well, if the bass are going to be hitting that, then the crappie are probably going to want to hit the same color pattern scheme. Uh, so I tried to make a jig that looked similar to that, um, which is kind of can be difficult to do. Um, and believe me, it didn't look anywhere close, but uh, we did manage to catch fish with it. So um, we're gonna give that a shot today and show you a new way with new materials that I didn't have back then to make that happen. And so uh, we're using fluorescent blue, 210 denier thread on a uh, eighth ounce minnow head uh, with a number four hook victory sickle. Um, our feather color that we're gonna use with this is gonna be our ocean water, um, which is kind of a fluorescent blue. Um, you know, this is one of those where those thin feathers come in handy. Um, a use for them. And so we're gonna have one of those going out the back of the jig. And then we're gonna tie in silver polar flash. So a little pinch, about yay big. And I'm gonna put that to the length of the tail. As if you, you know, know what those chrome rattle traps look like, um, the blue is just across the top. So uh, that's what we're gonna do there. Now, one of the things about tying one of these baits is getting them full enough. Um, back when I made this, I just put feathers in. It was a real thin looking bait. Um, but now we have some other materials. Um, I don't want there to be a big color presence with this material that we're going to put in next. So we're using the clear uh, crystal fish hair. We're going to put that in next and we're, this stuff's going to be short, uh, about to the hook point, maybe just past it we're going to start building up our body. Because I do want that silver and blue sticking out the tail end. Give me a long piece there. Put another little clump of that on top. Okay. So that's how we're gonna build our body up. Uh, next, then we're gonna take some shorter tips and put them in on the top. And when I do the one on the back side, you'll be able to kind of see where that goes. And then on the very top, we're going to use the V cuts because now that can go around the center of the hook. And that makes that very top of the bait darker, more of a blue presence. And then we'll come in on the back side and tie in another tip. Got 
Okay. So now we're going to turn her over. We've got everything that we want to put in there. We're going to finish it up with a little bit more silver polar flash. Into the belly. There you go. And we'll whip finish. And I do these thread neck jigs twice. So, and then we'll finish it up. I use deep penetrator um, on these because that, that stuff's going to soak down into the thread. So that thing won't come apart after your fish start gnawing on it. So, so there you have our version. We got a little piece there to cut out. And you can always trim this thing up. Uh, to make it, you know, tapered how you want it to be. Um, but that's my version of the blue chrome rattle trap in a crappie jig. And so you can give these things a shot. There's all kinds of ways that you can manipulate these materials to get your color patterns top and bottom um, how you want them to be. But the big thing is, is getting that fullness in the body, which is where this um, material comes in handy. Uh, instead of using something solid like a hair, a uh, bucktail or anything like that, it makes it clear where you can manipulate your colors and get the stuff in there you want. So I uh, hope you enjoy and uh, let us know how you do. Thanks a bunch. Bye.